Okay, well, I'm mixing up herbs, um, herbal powders, to give to my horse. I've already got uh, the white willow and the ginger in there, and um, the white willow bark is considered a natural aspirin and can be used to treat chronic pain and inflammation. It's a little um, easier on the stomach than, uh, for example, uh, bute, which is phenobutazone that you give to horses for pain and inflammation. So I kind of use it in between. I do still use bute, but bute is very hard on the uh, horse's stomach and it can cause ulcers. So I prefer to use herbal remedies whenever possible. And so I start with the white willow bark powder. I have put two teaspoons into the powder. You can use up to uh, two to three tablespoons uh, Actually, a little more isn't going to hurt. Um, and then the same with the ginger. Ginger is an anti-inflammatory. It increases blood circulation. And it's got the same uh, constituents in it that um, cayenne has, um, which is capsicum and curcurum. And um, here's the uh, turmeric. Turmeric is an anti-inflammatory. They actually like the taste of it. Um, it's what's used in a lot of Indian dishes, and it's it's antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, and um, it's really a very useful herb. I sometimes use, um, when available, I use yucca uh, and hawthorn berry as well. Hawthorn berry, I'm out of actually right now. Hawthorn berry. Um, actually increases circulation and it is very good for uh, laminitis and flounder. Once I get all the, um, the herbs in here, I like to, um, they don't really like the taste of just the herbs alone and if I want my horse to really eat it up good, I put molasses in it. And not too much, you know, just, just um, maybe like a tablespoon. And that just helps them eat it up, and it's it's sweet, and it tastes really good. Then I'll mix a little water in here, and I'm going to just shut it off for a second. Okay, I've got the water here, and I just uh, get, get it uh, stirred up so it's kind of like um, the consistency of pudding. And sometimes I use aloe vera juice as well. Um, aloe vera juice is very antibacterial and it's very soothing to the to the um, stomach and the intestines. And um, it's just really um, a good uh, extra food to give to give them. And I think I'm about ready. I've got this. It's kind of a paste and. Um, they will actually eat this all up. So, no way. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop this herbal slurry into his bowl. I used to do this in the syringe, and then I realized that he really liked it, and the syringe was really not necessary. So, just get it all in there. And usually they'll, they'll kind of go for this stuff. They're, as long as you put a little molasses in it, it's, it's good. So, I don't know if you can see that or not, but anyway, I'm going to move on here. Okay, we're recording again. I'm going to try to get him over here. Come here. Come over here and eat. Come over here and eat, buddy. And if we get right over here, maybe, maybe they can see you eat this stuff up. See, and show them how you really like it. They get a little taste of it first. But he usually just gobbles it right up. This is that mixture we made. There's somebody else that wants it too. Here. Well, this isn't working, is it? Don't let her intimidate you. We're still eating. So anyway, it's 
really hard to do this alone, so I guess next time I'll have to get some help.